this is the school project shed. So if it rains, um, no excuses. Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the 100 baby challenge. Um, we are back with Lauren and the crazy amount of children she has currently and she is pregnant right now. So hopefully we'll be able to get some of these kids out of the house and get going. So we're just going to jump right into gameplay and everybody should be waking up fairly soon. It looks like this one's fully rested so we can go and get some food really fast and then probably the same for you because we're gonna have school here. Oh I also wanted to show you guys I wasn't able I, I did build a new house. Um, you can actually see it over here um, but then it was more money than I thought it was. It's a $90,000 house and we have like $30,000 including household funds and the price of the lot we live on. So um, we're going to save for that for a little while. In the meantime, um, I put some more toys back here and then I built a shed. This is the school project shed. So if it rains, um, no excuses. But um, so let's see, I'm just going to make sure these kids are all taken care of. Actually, that toddler looks fine. So does that one. So I'm just going to let them sleep a little bit. And then Lauren is just going to finish sleeping until she's good. And then, yeah, I guess. Oh, you're going to take care of the babies. I forgot about them. I often do. All right. So I think this one probably has time to come work on her school project. And then this one is having a terrible time, but still needs to go do a school project. So um, hopefully we'll be able to get some grades up today and then maybe age them up, hopefully, because um, I don't want to have children anymore. I'd like to be able to move these two out, hopefully in this episode, if I can get their skills high enough. Okay, so this one finished her project and they're a little bit late for school, but I'm going to have her help her brother in hopes of them both being able to age up today. Um, I'd like to age them up together because they're twins. So, all right, perfect. Everybody is done. Go to school. Go to school. Go to school. Go to school. Hurry. You're gonna be late. So study hard, both of you. And then we have those school projects. And I actually should be able to sell those as well and get a little bit of money back, hopefully. Um, this one and this one. I also have a painting in here I'm gonna sell and I don't know where she's at for her aspiration. Um, 10 excellent paintings. Okay. And then we need to come take care of these children so they don't get taken away. Um, I'm kind of terrible about doing that. And these toddlers are almost done sleeping. We also got mail which will hopefully help with the money situation. What are your skills at, kid? Thinking maxed. Okay, so we're gonna have you come talk to the bear a few times. And then as soon as the other one wakes up, we can have it play and try and build its imagination skill. Oh, Lauren mastered the painting skill. Awesome. Hopefully that means we will be able to work on her aspiration a little bit more and get that all the way finished. Oh, and she painted a masterpiece. So hopefully that will be worth a little bit of money. Nice. 2000 Awesome. And then, actually, I think she needs to feed this one still. I don't know if I queued that up. Oh, I did. Okay. So, oh, and that one's stinky. So we should probably change some diapers. And then go back to painting here in a second. And I just queued up for these kids to work on some other stuff. Because, um, let's see. Oh, that one maxed its imagination, actually. But... I think the other one also maxed its communication and just needs to work on imagination, so. How are you doing? You maxed your communication, so let's work on your imagination. And then hopefully they should be able to finish, I guess, uh, movement and potty would be everything left. Oh, and that one maxed its communication as well. So we're going to have you out here and slide. Let me see your needs. Okay, yeah, you're gonna come out and slide for a little bit and then yeah. All right, 
right, so Emerald maxed his imagination skill, which means now it is time for some potty skill. And the other one is still working on its movement. Oh, awesome. So Blue has an A, Cabernet has an A. Okay, perfect. And then this one just reached movement level five. So we actually might be able to have like four birthdays tonight if we can get potty skills up. And I actually have a mod called Children Can Cook. So I'm gonna have the child actually make its own birthday cake. Um, just make a honey cake, that's fine. And then I think, oh, your fun is low, but other than that, everybody seems to be doing okay. So you can come practice that, or maybe come swing. That'll get your fun up. And then how are you doing? Almost max. And you are also almost max. Okay, I'm gonna have her add some birthday candles to this. And then lots of candles. And then I'm gonna have your brother do the exact same thing. Happy birthday, kid. Ready? All right, what are you gonna be? Three, two, one, adventurous. All right. Um, right. Let's give her just a teen aspiration for funsies, I guess. And then this one. Oh, she's cute. Oh my gosh, she looks so much like her mom. I forget who her dad is. Oh, her dad's Matthew. That's right. She's so pretty. Okay. Well, now that she has finished that, I'm just immediately going to have her do some homework. And then her brother is going to have his birthday and then probably do like the exact same thing. Also, while doing this, Emerald reached potty level three and Daintree did it as well. So, all right. Blue is loyal. Awesome. And I'm also gonna give him a teen aspiration because I'm not gonna do the aspirations, so. Um, okay, I'm gonna add birthday candles to this and then do some homework. Also, my toddlers are still doing that thing. I thought it was a mod I had, but apparently it's not. I don't know what the cause of it is. It could just be a game bug itself. So as soon as this one finishes its skills, um, we should be able to age that one up and then the teens just need probably only like a day of school, um, to get to A students and actually I'm going to have them do some school projects, uh, as soon as they finish all of their homework and stuff. And then, yeah, we're doing pretty good. So hopefully we won't end up with too many children in the house at the same time. Now have that one to extra credit and then this one is going to come work on a school project. I actually forgot, I didn't end up looking at how this one turned out. Oh, he's cute. He looks like his dad who is creepily staring through a window, but he looks a lot like our da his dad, but he also, I feel like he looks quite a bit like his mom. So he's gonna go work on his school project and then let's see, it's you who has to finish your movement skill and you are pretty close. So other than that, I guess we're just waiting and everything should be good. Mom is also almost in her third time trimester. She's gonna hit it tonight. So we should be getting pretty close to the end of this pregnancy. And then we will have more babies and hopefully by then more toddlers, um, which sounds like it could be a good thing, but doesn't actually feel like it's a great thing, so. Oh, this one is so close to finishing its motor skill. So hopefully it should only be, yep, that was it. So now we will be able to age up the kids. And with toddlers, I usually don't even bother with the, uh, the whole carrying the toddler thing. I have a mod that makes it to where I can just age them up. So it makes my life a little bit easier. There goes that one. Let's see. Good, recycle disciple and creative. Awesome. Let's just have you be, oh, I feel like creativity actually fits in better. All right, this one's aging up. Let's see. You are a geek, dog lover, and adventurous. That's really cute. Let's do mental because you're a geek. So now I think we're just gonna need to do some homework and everything should be good to go. Hopefully we can 
get our grades up pretty quick and I'm probably also going to have them um, work on some school projects as soon as they are done with their homework. Oh, they're so cute. I don't remember who their parent is. Is it? Um, oh, it's Eric. I don't know what mom is doing. Oh, she's getting some food. And then I'm probably just going to put that whole cake in the fridge and hope it stays good long enough for our next birthday. Dane Tree finished his homework, so he's gonna go work on a school project and then probably grab some leftovers and then we'll probably be tired by that point. Mom also finished her painting, which actually I forgot she did too. So we finished those and we're going to continue working on paintings because we're really close to that 10 excellent paintings thing. And then I also don't remember who we were going to have a child with next. I can't remember if we had a child with Kiyoshi. I'm gonna need to check my spreadsheet, um, which is the only way I've been able to keep track of literally anything. So hopefully I will figure that out so we can figure out who to romance next. Also, I did get a pop-up saying that it was these two's birthday. So I actually might start aging them up now so that they can start skill building. Let's see. Clingy and wild. Great. I love that. I love it when my children don't get the independent trait. It's my favorite thing ever. And then Blue finished his school projects. Um, I don't know if you gave up. Oh no, you finished yours. So I want you guys to help your siblings. All right. And then we got a wild and inquisitive toddler. Oh my goodness. They look so different. Who is your father? I don't even know. Oh, that's right. It's the vampire. Oh gosh. I wonder if they're vampires. I don't know. I don't know if there's any way to tell. This one has its father's eyes. This one also seems to have its father's eyes, but mom's hair color. So I don't know what's going on. You guys have graduated to the toddler room. So you go play make-believe a bunch of times and work on your skill. And then I'm probably just gonna have this one do the same thing. Actually, I'm gonna have mom potty train this one. So it's the blonde one. Let's see, and these guys are all just working on their school projects. So that is fine. I'm gonna sell these old ones as well and probably also sell some of this stuff to just get it out of the inventory. Also, I forgot that Cabernet and Blue hate each other because Cabernet is evil and Blue is good. So they just get like super upset around each other. Here, good versus evil. And then near misery, she's terrible. All right, this one is working on its potty skill with mom. And this one's doing pretty good on its imagination skill. So we're just going to skill grind for a little bit and I will be back when something happens. All right, the kids finished their school projects, which is awesome because this one is literally about to starve to death. So we're gonna have it come get some leftovers. Actually, I'd already queued that. And then this one's pretty much fine. I'm just gonna have it come take a shower and then probably go to sleep. And then this one, as soon as it's finished eating, can also sleep. And then this one needs some food and sleep. This one also needs some food and sleep. So, and then green just reached imagination level five. So that is awesome. Let's see, I think I will probably have them watch each other now since they don't have any communication skill yet, so I don't have to click through 5,000 menus, which I learned very quickly is really obnoxious to have to do. So I'm gonna queue that up for both of them really quick. All right, they both have completely full queues. So now I'm just gonna have mom come work on her painting, and then she's probably gonna have to pee soon because she's pregnant, and then just go to sleep because I'm not dealing with uh, two Mesums being awake at once. And both of these kids are working on their thinking skill. Awesome. And then that one's almost done and ready for bed. That one's almost done and ready for bed. You didn't eat, which is really obnoxious of you, to be honest, but you can eat in the morning. You're sleeping. I don't know what's wrong with you. I need to reset you because you have something stuck in your queue when you were a kid. Thankfully, we don't have more kids than four at once because... 
we need all four bunk beds currently. And I say kids, I actually, I mean kids and teenagers. Um, and then obviously the toddlers have this space and they are just watching each other. So they should be fine. And yeah, I think everything is actually going way more smoothly than I thought it would. Also, mom is going to have her third trimester in three hours. Um, so we will be having a baby soon, um, which is, mm, I wouldn't say exciting, but news, I suppose. I would also love to know from you guys if you guys are actually interested in seeing like the skill grind and that kind of thing, or if you would rather me just cut a lot of that out and only leave in like the main, main highlights. I feel like a lot of this series is skill grinding, but I don't know actually what's interesting um, for you guys to watch. And so I want what you guys are interested in to be what I'm actually leaving in the video. Anyways, um, in that very short time, I almost starved a child to death. So we need to feed this one. And then this one is also hungry. So we're going to feed that one as well. And then everybody else for the most part is looking pretty good. Um, these two need to eat. Well, you already have a cube, so you'll be fine. And then I'm gonna have you use the toilet. And then you also need to eat. Nope, don't cook a grand meal. Eat. And then, yeah, I think they're just gonna go to school and everything should be a-okay for them. Hopefully the teenagers will get to an A really quickly, probably today, um, and we'll be able to get them out. So... That should not take too long and we will have more room for more babies. All right, just about everybody is ready for school and I'm having the toddlers skill build since they finished eating. So this one is just plain make-believe and this one is over here on the slide. So hopefully those skills shouldn't take very long and then they can go back to watching each other and then work on communication. Let's see, potty train, the bowl cut. I don't actually remember their names. I tried to, but um, I've given up on actually remembering their names 100% of the time. So I also want to check. Okay, so she has six days until she ages up, but her aging pauses while she's pregnant. So um, that's why she hasn't aged up yet. Um, otherwise, she probably would be an adult by now. But thankfully, we have stayed pregnant pretty consistently throughout this entire thing. Also, I forgot I need to cancel this in order for mom to be able to do the potty training. So, and then all of the kids are going to school and let me just make sure everyone is studying hard so we all get good grades today. Everyone, well, the teenagers are pretty close to getting A's so hopefully that will um, be good and they will be able to age up soon. And mom is in her third trimester now, so she will be giving birth any time. Um, I assume probably not until this afternoon or even later tonight. I don't actually remember when I got her pregnant, so. This one, I didn't even realize, maxed its imagination. So I'm gonna have it come work on its movement skill and grind that out for a little bit. And then it's probably going to need a little bit of a nap because it's tired. Okay, so green actually was able to reach potty level three. Um, I just kept grinding it because I figured I was so close on might as well. So they are super duper tired now and I think I'm actually probably going to have them both sleep for a little bit and then I want to admire, view or admire three paintings at a museum with mom real quick before she gives birth. So we are going to go do that and maybe meet a few more men. All right, so we are at the art center and ooh, there are already some cute men here. So we are going to, well, this one's not, I wouldn't say he's cute, but this one is. So we're going to meet them really quick and then let's go use some stuff. And hopefully that counts. I don't actually know if it counts because this is an art center, but if it doesn't, I'm cheating it. Also, this sim is super cute. So we're going to go meet him as well and hopefully just kind of get an arsenal of people we know um, so that we can just call them over to our house and flirt with them when we need to. 
and we just got the notification from school that Daintree and Emerald have B's and Blue and Cabernet have A's. So that is awesome. And we will be able to age them up tonight. And I'm just having her kind of finish introducing herself to people and she's viewed some art. I don't know if it's counted. It hasn't, but I'm gonna cheat it because uh, I don't wanna go to a museum. This should count. This is literally an art center, so whatever. All right, so mom has viewed all of her paintings that she needs to view. So we're going back home. <laughs> all right, we are back home and mom is tired and probably going to give birth soon. So I'm just going to send her to sleep. And then I'm also going to age up the oldest twins. And I'm just going to set that there and have her blow out the candles. And as you can see, she's a high school A student, so everything is good there. Oh, also your outfit's really cute. Super cute. Oh, and he's playing with his sibling. Oh my gosh, that's adorable. Okay, what's your last trait? Hold that. Oh, that's a custom trait I have, but that's fine. Oh, and she graduated. Awesome. Okay, I'm gonna add birthday candles there and then age him up. And then for skills, you need thinking, communication, but you pretty much need everything. So I'm actually gonna queue up more watching. All right, I queued up the toddlers watching and now I'm going to have this one, Blue, um, age up really quick. And he was actually born first, so he probably should have aged up first, but um, Cabernet was the first one I clicked on, so. <laughs> Woohoo, it's your birthday, yay, congrats. Awesome, and you are gonna be socially awkward. I love that for you. Um, hope you like cooking, because that's your new aspiration, so. Um, and now these two are fully aged up and I don't really know what to do with them. I should probably just move them out. I'm actually probably going to have this one come get the mail really quick. And then actually maybe they can help with potty training and then I will move them out. I don't actually know for sure what I'm going to do, but I'm also going to have this one work on homework and this one work on homework and then probably do some more school projects. All right, I just grabbed a few more school projects so that as soon as these kids are done with their school projects, or done with their homework, they can work on their school projects and hopefully their now adult siblings can actually help them. So they've finished their homework and now they're going to work on that stuff. And mom should give birth literally any second, so um, I'm just kind of waiting for that. And then I guess these guys finished all of their watching, so I'm going to queue that up for them again. All right, I've queued that up again for them, and they should hopefully be pretty close to level five. Looks like they are. This one might take a little bit longer, but hopefully it shouldn't be too bad. And then other than that, yeah, they're getting fairly close to finishing the rest of their skills. Oh, okay. Lauren is now in labor. Awesome. Um, I'm probably just going to have her finish eating and then go to the hospital by herself because I don't really want to go. Also, everybody's complaining that it's hot and I don't actually think I have a thermostat, so I should probably fix that. Alright, and the younger kids have finished their school projects, so they should be set up for success. And then I'm actually going to have them do a little bit of extra credit work. And then I guess these two are pretty much ready to be moved out. I'm actually going to sell all of this stuff in her inventory. Because um, $670, I mean, yeah. I'm really quick going to pop into Manage Worlds and move out the two oldest kids. So we don't have too many Sims in the household at once. Because even though I have the household size turned up with MC Command Center, things can break, especially if you go into create a Sim. So I don't want to risk it. All right, we're back and thankfully with two less Sims. So I am going to send Lauren to the hospital by herself um, and work on the rest of these kids. Lauren is having a baby and these two finished their extra credit work. So I guess they could probably just go to bed. Um, actually, this one's a little bit hungry. Oh, okay, babies. So I actually put together a few names um, because I didn't want to have to constantly keep Googling them. So I have a spreadsheet with names. 
And the next one, um, I was stuck between hazel and honeydew. I know honeydew isn't necessarily a color, but it can be labeled as a color. But I think maybe I'll do hazel because I think it's a cute name. So we have a baby hazel and a boy. So the name I had for I was indigo. So I and just two. All right, perfect. So now we have two more kids. I don't know why I keep having twins, but I'm also not complaining because I think three is a lot. So now we have even more babies and our household is yet again full. Of course, the babies are instantly crying and instantly upset. So we need to feed them and take care of them and stuff. And then um, hopefully everything will be fine. Also, who are you? Oh, you're the nanny. I forgot I had to hire a nanny. Um, yeah, you can leave, to be honest. I am And then these kids, the littles, um, you are doing pretty good. You need a little bit more potty skill. Wonder if this one has to use the bathroom at all. Yeah, you can come go potty and then your brother will come watch you. Which, if you think about it, is like kind of weird, but it helps them with their potty skill. So, um, if it works, it works. And then this one finished eating so it can go to sleep and clean up some bowls. And then you, as soon as you get on the potty, this one is going to watch. And then hopefully that should get its skill up just enough to get to level two so it can start practicing on its own. All right, this one just hit potty level two. So now I can just spam the go potty interaction and hopefully get it to level three. And then this one is a little bit tired, but um, I kind of want it to skill build a little bit more. Maybe I will have it do some babbling really fast and try and get that communication skill up. And then you are actually doing pretty good for needs, so you can just grind that potty skill. Mom is taking care of the babies. I'm gonna have her use the bathroom and then probably invite someone over. Let's invite over this Matthew guy because he's cute. All right, Matthew is on his way and we can seduce him. Oh, he's sad. Oh, that's the one thing about short lifespans really annoying is they get sad so much because everybody's always dead. Um, let's try and cheer him up a little bit and then maybe we can beguile him and see how that goes. And then maybe we can, yeah, sit and chat in here and try and get the flirty mood going a little bit. It's like, um, sorry someone in your family died, but, uh, babies. <laughs> and we gained relationship so fast so hopefully that will uh, yeah. help us out a little oh, bit yeah. oh awesome he's very flirty now so everything should be a-okay we can even go in for a first kiss already so we should be good to go all right try for a baby go for it it's like way too easy with a tiny home it's like way too easy do you see how full their romance bar is it's not fair but um if it works, it works. And then as soon as they are done, I'm going to have her come and take a pregnancy test. Go on, go take a pregnancy test, girly. Nice, eating for two. Awesome. So now this guy can leave and we are going to shower really fast and then go to sleep. This kid is almost done pottying and it's so close to reaching max potty skill. So hopefully it should be done here pretty quick. This one is napping. Um, I don't know how that ended up happening, happening, but um, we're going to talk to the bear a little bit more and your needs aren't even that bad. This one has maxed its potty skill, so I'm gonna have this one watch its brother a little bit and try and get that thinking skill just topped off a little bit. Oh, and that was all we needed, just like half a watch, so he is fine. And then you are doing pretty good for skills. So you, you just need a little bit more watching too and you should be at thinking level five and then you can go to sleep. We are doing pretty good. So I think now that we are pregnant again and we had those last two babies and you know, everything's going really well. I'm going to end the episode here. 
uh, come back next week to have more chaos and more fun. I hope you have had a great day so far and you continue to have a great day. You make sure you are taking care of yourself, being kind to yourself, knowing you are loved, and I am proud of you.